Hi, today we're going to quickly cover a few key features we have added in the AudioScan 2020.2 software release. The changes for this one are primarily for the Verifit 2 and the NOAA module, although we encourage you to update all your AudioScan equipment to the latest software. Software for Verifit 2 has been updated to version 4.22, Axiom to 1.28, and the AudioScan NOAA module to 2.18. It's important to always update your NOAA module to retain compatibility with your equipment and the latest data standards. As always, the No Charge software update is available for download on our customer site at customer.audioscan.com. So, what's new in 2020.2? First, we have our new speech map counseling tool. Second, some updates to the sensory loss simulator. We've added real ear to dial difference measurements to the Verifit 2. And finally, a couple of updates to the NOAA module. 1. The Speech Map Counseling Tool The AudioScan Speech Map screen has always had components that make it suitable as a tool for patient counseling alongside its primary function of hearing instrument verification. Features such as the unaided speech spectra, the SII autobars, MAP curve, and more are included with knowledge that they can aid in conversations such as benefits of amplification or the challenges of fitting a reduced dynamic range. Our new counseling tool seeks to expand upon this tool set as well as present all the counseling specific features in a separate, easy to follow screen. An added benefit is that the counseling tool can pull in data from already run aided tests in SpeechMap where aided measurements are applicable to the counseling story. Our starting point is here, in SpeechMap, where we've already run a set of aided speech tests at soft, average, and loud levels, as well as MPO. To launch the counseling tool, click one of the counseling buttons in the lower left or right corners. The window opens to a blank graph. The hearing care practitioner is now able to turn on the elements that support their counseling protocol as desired. Each of these elements is considered a screen overlay and the overlays are organized into three groups hearing test, hearing range, and hearing aid. In the upper right hand corner we have an ear toggle to switch between left and right ears and a scale toggle which will switch between default SPL view and HL view. Note HL view is only available in the first two overlay groups. The first group, hearing test, allows you to show the audiogram with a severity of loss overlay. We also provide an overlay of speech sounds and an overlay of sounds of life. In all three overlay groups, you can toggle on and off the curve labels as well. The second group, hearing range, focuses on the story around reduced dynamic range. The overlays include a shaded region representing the dynamic range of normal hearing and one which represents the client's own hearing range. The upper limits in both cases will be based on UCL, either average or entered. The familiar speech sounds and sounds of life are also available in this overlay group. The third group, hearing aid, is where the speech spectra come in. There's a level selector which allows you to select from the standard speech test levels. For each level, a predicted unaided spectrum can be displayed and, if previous measured data is in speech map, the aided spectra can also be shown. In cases where MPO or live speech tests have been run, these will also show up in this selector. The familiar speech and sounds of life overlays are available, as well as a prescription toggle in case it's desired to show the prescriptive targets. For any of the selected speech test levels, the speech intelligibility button will bring up our SII counseling tool to aid in the discussion around SII prediction of performance on speech recognition tests. This tool is still available in the regular speech map screen as well. Finally, in the upper right hand corner, we have a button to launch the sensory loss simulator, which brings us to our next software feature. Two updates to the sensory loss simulator. AudioScan's familiar hearing loss simulator has had a few updates in this release. The interface has been refreshed and now presents in a binaural view. A selector in the center allows for left and right selection. New also is the output selector. This allows the simulation to be directed to the binaural monitor headset instead of the internal REM speakers. 
When the headset is in use, the ear selector now enables you to toggle between left, right, and binaural modes. Please note that the binaural mode in the headset is only functional on Verifit 2 generations 2 and 3, serial numbers C1947 and higher. 3. Real Ear to Dial Difference Measurement The Real Ear to Dial Difference Measurement, or REDD, represents the difference in decibels between the SPL measured by the probe tube microphone and the audiometer dial setting that produced it. It's specific to the client, headphone, and audiometer used to generate it. The REDD can be used to predict the ear canal SPL for threshold and uncomfortable loudness level, UCL, when headphones have been used for audiometry, and can improve the accuracy of audiometric conversion from DBHL by individualizing the transform versus using average data. In SpeechMap's audiometry entry, ensure HL transducer is set to headphones. The REDD selector allows you to select average data, enter previously measured data, or measure new values. Set the REDD selector to measure and click continue. After the audiogram entry screen, you're presented with an REDD measurement screen. Start by clicking on measure real ear for the ear of your choice. Set up the audiometer to present continuous pure tones at 70 dBHL. Position the probe tube in the client's ear. There's a button to launch Probe Guide from inside the REDD screen to make this part easy. When each level is captured, a green dot appears on the graph, and an optional confirmation chime is sounded from the REM speakers. Once complete, the REDD is stored in SpeechMap and will be applied to the entered HL audiogram. REDD can be printed or stored and used later for subsequent testing. REDD data can be re-entered into the equipment manually or transferred via the AudioScan NOAA module. Which brings us to the next software update. 4. NOAA Module Updates The NOAA module has had two small updates this time around. The first is no surprise. The NOAA module now supports REDD data measured on the Verifit 2. REDD data can be viewed on screen, printed, or later sent back to the Verifit for subsequent testing. Second, at the request of some of our customers, the client date of birth has been added to all printouts from the NOAA module. Thanks for taking the time to look at these new features today. Full instructions are included in the updated user guide. As always, please visit our website for software downloads and further information.